Hey there guys, in this video I'm going to be showing some updated turn one kill clears for the uh, vision world. You can also use these in dark visions and it should work for pretty much everything up to including the final boss. So this is just a slight variation of the OTK teams I posted before and then I'm going to show you a farming team for the final boss. But um, let's go ahead and start with the side mech. We're going to start with the second, the third to last boss. So this one is a, um, a mage fight. Only mages can deal damage. And for these mage fights, I like to use Ayaka because she can cap the fight basically no matter what the element is. So as you see, this is a boss that is not weak to ice. We don't really care. We're going to use Ayaka anyway. So let's get in here and I'll show you the clear. I'll show you the gear. These are not intended to be budget guides. I will be doing alternate clears that are much more budget for these bosses if you can't just OTK it on turn one like we're going to be doing. So we're going to be using Ilmatil to give Machine Killer. So she's going to do Machine Killer on Ayaka and we're going to do it on Lastwell. Rain will do his shifted LB for the Sword in Peril. He's also our leader. Yes, she will do her Crown Break. Uh, Warrior's Prayer, Dark Fina will quad cast Blizzara just for support chaining because we've got to get that 100 count chain score. Lastwell Dark Lineage will quad cast Ice Barrage. And if you don't have Lastwell Dark Lineage, um, if you saw my old party that used Ihana instead, works totally fine. I'm just doing slight optimizations. And then Ayaka does Finale, and you just go ahead and chain that up. And that is your turn one OTK perfect score. All missions done, or all criteria completed, whatever. So the damage cap on this one is 2 billion, and we did approximately 4.5. We more than double overcapped on turn one with Ayaka. And once again, I can't stress it enough. If you don't have Ayaka, I will be doing a budget run probably tonight, maybe tomorrow. But um, as you can see, Ayaka does it all. Last well, honestly, not really his thing. He's just here. But uh, yeah, there's our clear. Let me show you the gear we use real quick. So for this gear, um, Naked Ilmatil, she's just the killer. You swap her out for whatever killer you need. If you're fighting a plant, bring Creel. If you're fighting a human, bring Ihana. If you're fighting a machine, bring Ilmatil, etc. Whatever killer the fight is, there you go. Rain is our leader for 500 leader skill, as well as the 40% sword in peril. Yish, 160 ice in peril. That allows you to deal good damage even against um, ice resistant enemies. And then 89, 89 breaks. Warrior's Prayer, Dark Fina, is just using the Blazara spell. She's only here because she auto buffs stats for the party, makes it nice and easy. Last Well, Dark Lineage is using a sword because of rain. Other than that, like he's he did 500 million damage. So. Honestly, any support chainer you want is fine. The real star of the show is Ayaka, who is using a sword for the uh, weapon in peril. We're not, we're not doing a rod in peril on turn one. So, sword. And then I gave her a machine killer. You can swap the killers as needed. Most of the time, she won't need a killer. And if we didn't swap the killers around, just had a generic build, she still would have overcapped. But there you go. So let's now pop over to the physical fight. Uh, the Ghast. And again, we're going to turn one OTK. It. Now, this one is a little trickier. Uh, this is a 4 billion damage cap, but um, this is a physical fight. So normally my turn one physical party is right here. I would use things like Roberta to fire in peril and then support chain a little bit. Ihana for um, this Omni Killer. Rick is our breaker and damage dealer. Then Lastwell is a support chainer along with Rain and Dwayne, all just dealing damage, basically. This is the usual party I would use. But because this is the second to last boss, the stats are a little higher than usual, and it's not weak to fire, while this party could work, I'm going to go ahead and swap to Ice instead. The, it's the exact same team. The only difference is we're swapping Roberta for Free Evia to imbue Ice to the party. And we're using the Obsidian Bracer to get the fire and peril for Rain. So let's go ahead and do a turn one OTK with uh, with an ice party for physical. Okay, so we're gonna just use Ihana's LB. Now th this is, um, I actually don't even know what the race of the boss is, but Ihana's LB will be stat buff, LB damage buff, and she auto buffs Omni Killer. So no, 
So no matter what this boss is, she buffed it by at least 100%. You could swap in the proper killer. I honestly don't, don't know what this guy is. He's a ghast, I would assume, undead, which means you're going to want Rosa if it's an undead boss. So you could swap in Rosa instead to get more killer. We're not going to need it. So Freyavia is going to quad. We're going to do the field and then triple bolting just to support chain for the chain count score. Rick is going to shift that LB. Flaring Rain is going to shift that LB. Last Wall Dark Lineage is going to base form LB to match up with Rain. And then Dwayne is going to do Atonement. So what we're going to do, we're going to click free of you first, wait just a moment, then we're going to chain Rick, Rain, and Lastwell together. Rick is triple bolting, while Rain and Lastwell are absolute mirror. It will work, okay? We're going to wait just a moment. Then we're going to click Dwayne, because Dwayne will not get the break for Rick if you spark chain them. It's kind of a weird interaction. So we're going to click free of you, wait just a moment, then click these, then click Dwayne. And that should be our damage cap on turn one. And of course, once you set it up, you can do the repeat button. So this is a 4 billion damage cap. And we did approximately 10.7 billion. Once again, we more than double overkilled. So there you go, the turn one perfect score. Again, not by any means a budget run. I will be doing the budget run probably this evening. Uh, but there you go. So once again... Uh, Dwayne 2.4, Rick 4.6. So honestly, Rick did it all by himself. So you don't, you don't, you don't, don't even need, you know, Dwayne, Rain, and, and Lineage, etc. Dark Lineage. Um, but you know, it makes it easier. So anyway, Rick 4.6, all by himself. So there we go. He did the damage cap. And the party's gear that we used was uh, Freevia. Honestly, I, I didn't really even gear her. So um, oh, she has leftover gear. I just. This was an old build. It does, I'm sorry. It doesn't even matter. She can be totally naked. She's literally just here for the ice support. Um, <clears throat> Ihana, just Obsidian Bracer to get a Fire and Peril for Rain. And then um, this is a better Fire and Peril. Uh, if, you if you don't have this, the Obsidian Bracer is good enough. As you saw, we did 10 billion damage. Um, Dark Knight Dwayne, Sword build. Um, he's got a generic build. You know, I didn't optimize killers for anything. So he's at 150 Reaper. Pretty sure the boss is a Reaper. Yeah, th this this is like this is literally my use against no matter what it is party. If you're having problems capping, swap the killers around for the proper race. Give he's just using like killers to everything to try to be like you know universal if possible. Uh, Rick in the shift form is you know again just universal killers. He's he's literally maxed on every killer because he's a premium and he carries the OTK team. Also, he's our breaker with an 88% defense break on his LB. Uh, flaring Rain in the shift form is just damage. Um, again, Omni Killer, so he's killer against everything, and there we go. And then last one, Dark Lineage. Support Chainer, basically. He does triple Absolute Mirror of Equity. Now, he is locked to Ice on his LB, but uh, he, he, he imperils for himself, so it's fine. It's whatever. Uh, anyway, there it is. So just, you know, generic Omni Killer. He's a premium, therefore he gets uh, killers very easily. And there we go. And now I'm going to go ahead and show you my farming party for the final boss to get, you know, all the gear crafted. Now, I don't have the new lightning. I don't have the new hope. Um, I am not going to suffer my way through doing a six bonus, a six, a six, um, six bonus unit party. So what I'm going to do is the game is locked up. Give it one second for it to unfreeze. Come on, game. Come on, game. It does this. Give me a second. Takes about 20 seconds usually when it does this. Oh my god, game. Anyway, I'm going to be taking a uh, carry unit for the OTK team. Um, because I just can't do it with... Uh, here we go. So I just can't do it with all bonus units. It would take me... Like, I'd have to go to turn 2, turn 3, turn 4, turn 5. And while it would be more energy efficient to take more turns with a full bonus team... I'm not going to suffer through that. I'll just OTK it on turn one, and maybe I have to run it three extra times. So just a bunch of random, who cares, Final Fantasy 13s and Rick. You could also probably use Ibarra just fine, I'm sure. Ibarra should OTK at turn one. Also, so, also something like Genesis should be a turn one OTK, no problem, etc. So what we're going to do, Savior of Souls Lightning will do Spark Boost to imbue Thunder, Electric Blitz to imperil Thunder, and then just whatever. Uh, the old lightning in the shift form would do Rusty Engine for the Machine Killer. 
Graceful Fang will triple bolting just to support chain. And then the real damage is Rick's Shifted LB, which should pretty easily OTK this boss. So the boss has 600 million HP. We did, I'm sure, a lot more than that. Eight, 891, so we overkilled by like 30% or something. Um, so yeah, there's my turn one OTK on the farming. Five bonus units, one carry unit. The carry unit can be literally whatever you want, as long as, long as they can OTK it on turn one, which is not super hard. But um, there it is, and you know, obviously Rick does literally all of it. Uh, I could have geared, I could have geared Fang for damage, but it's like I don't need to. So anyway, the entire party is literally naked except for Rick. So Rick has just got Machine Killer LB damage. So um, LB damage, Machine Killer, and I did give him Light's Blessing to give him an auto buff attack power. Um, you could also give someone else in the party um, Relieving Song for a 300% attack buff. Uh, and give Rick more materia or more damage, etc. But um, whatever, less clicking this way. Anyway, there's that. Now I will be doing budget runs on the other two bosses, the Ghast and the Cymec, later today. And I'm also going to be experimenting with various ways to do the final boss with a damage cap. I've seen a lot of comments, what if I don't have Genesis? What if I don't have Avatar's gear? What if I don't have um, Blades of Black Flame Reagan? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work on it. I'm going to try it out. Um, I don't have the new Wondrous Flash Lightning, I don't have Squall, I don't have Zidane. So my options for not fire parties are a lot more limited. I will be trying them out though and I'll see what I can do. Um, my, my next attempt is going to be with a Blessing of the Crystal Party. I'm going to try it with, um, you know, Ace, Rift, etc. We'll see how it goes. It may or may not work. Look for that video in the future. See you then.